Right, welcome back to episode six, guys. Uh, oh, for f**k's sake. No! Right, welcome back, YouTube, to episode six. I think we left off. Um, we were going to go up to Bonnie's. I'm not entirely sure. That's where we're going to go now. If you like this series, be sure to leave a like and push that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload the next part. What's she doing there? It's been a lot of fun doing this series so far. I know we're only on part six, but still. You know, I didn't think I'd be into this this game. I've, I've never really played these sorts of games before. But I've just had the urge to play some story modes. And, you know, RDR1 was... Ooh, weed. Red Dead Redemption was the first game I saw that I had. And I've really taken to it. I really no. enjoy it. Buddy! I'm coming! Sir, I beg of you! My wife has been abducted and we must rescue her! Nah, mate. Sorry. Can't do it. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on! Come on! Hey, miss! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real oh, fast. So what no. do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Oh, I am such a man. Come on, boys, move now. I haven't got all day. Hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Look, Mr. Marston! The barn is on fire! Oh, yeah. no! Get up! The doors are blocked! We need Where's to find one? another way in! Get a move! Oh! We have to find another way to get in there! Put it up! Yep. Come on, son. Yes! Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You 
know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I haven't decided whether I like the fact that it takes so long to get places or not. The actual game, visually, is, is quite cool. You know, they've done a lot of work to it, but it does take quite a lot of time to get places. Like, am I able to just fast track from one place to another? Oh, sorry, love. Sorry, it's the horse. Me something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child. Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bunny back in one piece. It's a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland. I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed, and that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, Bugglers and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Easy there. John, 
You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is gonna be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Come on now, boys! Cut me loose! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. No. Oh. Uno. Dos. Dress. Four. Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. No. No, 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 no. Don't you lay a finger on her. Dress a lot. You think you fools can stop me? Shoot it! You must have a real bad death wish! Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <laughs> <coughs> Kinky. Who's Seth? Uh, I think this will be the end of episode six now. Remember to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified every time I upload a video of this series or any video of any kind. Thanks for watching, I'll see you back in episode 7. Bye!